Today we're looking at the differences between the Bull Mastiff and the Pitbull. Both of these powerful breeds have positive and negative reputations associated with them for either previous or current roles in society. Let's take a closer look at how these breeds differ despite their similar appearances. Welcome back to the Bull Mastiff channel. If this is your first time here, my name's Charlie and I'm a canine leader here at Fenrir Canine Leaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about Bull Mastiffs and then how to become high level canine leaders that raise the perfect Bull Mastiff. So if you're a lifelong lover, thinking about getting one or just started your journey with your new Bull Mastiff, then this is the channel for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss a future Bull Mastiff video. So let's dive into today's video and we'll take a closer look at everything that makes these breeds so similar yet so different. Let's look at the history of each of these breeds a bit so we can see how their early jobs affect their temperament today. Developed about 200 years ago, in the mid-1800s, the Bull Mastiff is the result of crossing the English Mastiff and the now extinct Old English Bulldog. The original role of the breed was an assistant to English gamekeepers in protecting large estates and poachers. They primarily did this by running off the poachers or by running down and pinning two slow poachers until they get until the... They primarily did this by running off the poachers or by running down and pinning a too slow poacher until the gamekeepers could catch up. They were a large and powerful breed that still makes an impressive deterrent today, but has mellow enough temperament to do well as part of the family. The pit bull, as it's commonly called, is actually recognised as the American Staffordshire Terrier. The term pit bull is a category referring to its ancestry as a dog developed to participate in the 19th century blood sports like bull baiting and dog fighting. The pit bull we know today is an American version of the English Staffy and is larger than its English cousin. In 1936, the American Kennel Club recognised the breed had become different enough to warrant being registered separately. And the American Pitbull has been the focus of corporate logos, military awards and earned the reputation of being a nanny dog because of its fondness for children. Now let's get into their different appearances. Both breeds are solid muscle and have a boxy build to go along with their square heads and jaws and both can be jawless thanks to their heavy jowls. The Pitbull, considered a medium size, usually appears as lean and light on its feet supporting a thin short coat that shows off their sleek body. The Bull Mastiff is obviously a large breed of the Mastiff variety, and thanks to their loose skin and low energy, don't appear to be as agile as the Pitbull. Make no mistake, a Bull Mastiff with a proper motivation has a huge stride and can execute the most complex of agility manoeuvres flawlessly. The temperaments are both suited to family life, but for different reasons. The Pitbull is very vocal and playful and loves to be where the people are. They're full of energy and personality, which makes them clownish antics all the more entertaining given how loving and affectionate they are. You also notice that the Pitbull has a very soft personality that won't do well with harsh corrections or blurry boundaries. They're extremely loyal and protective of their family, but highly trainable thanks to their willingness to please. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt the video. I wanted to quickly let you know, if you didn't know already, that I have a completely free course called The Principles to the Perfect Puppy. In that course, I break down all of the most important things that I think you absolutely have to know and understand for you to become a high-level canine leader that raises your own perfect canine companions. So if you want to go and check out my completely free Principles to the Perfect Puppy course, there'll be a link down in the description box below. Thousands of of people have taken that and had incredible success so I can't wait to see you over there again there'll be a link in the description box below I'll see you on that course the bull mastiff is similarly loyal and protective of its family but their low energy level means they're more of a cuddler than a player they love to be with their family and keep an eye out on them for as long as possible without moving from their comfy spot their willingness to please is tempered with their energy which can make them stubborn and willful when they aren't in the mood to do anything they're incredibly loyal to their family, even new babies, and take their role as a protector very seriously. And this instinct overrides their laziness when it comes to guarding the family. A bull mastiff has a very low reactivity level that goes along with their low energy. They are extraordinarily gentle around children and will hesitate to act unless there is a clear threat. Their size can and will intimidate children and even adults, so socialisation is important as a way to get them used to this kind of hesitation from new people. 
They will likely investigate any new child or animal that comes into the home thoroughly, then return to the spot where they can monitor everything from a comfy bed. Pit bulls are also an excellent family dog, maybe even more so than the bull mastiff, which is hard to imagine. They've been given the nickname of the nanny dog for a good reason. Pit bulls have quite a bit of energy, but are extraordinarily gentle with babies and children. They're very loving and affectionate with their family and can even warm up to strangers quickly. Of course, both breeds need lots of socialisation early on and throughout their life, and it's especially crucial in breeds like these with protective instincts. The Bull Mastiff and Pitbull are incredible breeds that are quite adapted to family life. If you have an active lifestyle or want to get involved with canine sports, then the athletic and eager Pitbull may be the better choice for you. You want to see if the Pitbull is allowed in the area you live in and if they are prepared to be the ambassador of the breed for their whole life. If you want a low energy dog that doesn't need much exercise and is so calm they border on lazy, then the Bull Mastiff might be a great choice for you. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If so, make sure you hit that like button and get involved down on the comments section below. And don't forget, if you're new here, to make sure you subscribe. We have two dedicated Bull Master videos coming here every single week. So, I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Bull Master channel.